And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Demir Control. That's right, we're playing this deck again. This was originally a donation deck that we played a couple of weeks ago, and we talked about a couple of small changes at the end, but the deck overall played really, really well. And we're going to just kind of put those changes in that we talked about at the end and try it again. Of course, this is with the new PC, as you all know, this is a First stream here with the the new PC. Uh, I guess if you're watching the Orzov Troll Knights video a little bit ago, if not, uh, let me know in the YouTube comments how the how the uploads look and how it's how it's going for you over there, um, and yeah, how how you're liking the new PC. Uh, but this deck, you know, that's it's Demir Control. There's not too much to say about. It. We're trying to kill our opponent's stuff, trying to make them discard cards and counter some spells. You know, to keep on you know getting all the one for one. Um, trades with either removal discard or counter magic and then draw extra cards we got jason here draw an extra card every single turn gadwick can be a big card draw thing of course chemister's insight can get us some extra cards too so we're just trying to get ahead um, with card advantage while we're trading with all these cheaper one for one uh spells and then eventually attack our opponent down whether it's with brazen bar we're attacking in the air murderous rider with a two three body the gadwick for the three three body or a lock mirror serpent flashing in there being a 7-7 or Liliana making 2-2s two you know like so we're eventually going to be winning uh with one of these we're, we don't usually win with Jace milling out but that is also an option because we will be targeting our opponent and milling two cards off of their side each time with that so let's give this a try let's see how Demir Control fares in the current metagame um yeah let's just see how it plays Obviously, there's a lot of there's a lot of situational cards when you're playing a control deck, and there's a lot of situational answers. And we may not have the perfect answers for what people are playing now, because like I said, this was a, a deck from a couple of weeks ago. But we liked it there at the time. Let's let's see how we like it here. Um, I don't know what. CPU video card I went with. I don't know. Um, it's written in there, though. We got Cryptic Command Sleeves. That's a new thing for today. And also, Three-Headed Doggo. All right, so Trail of Crumbs is really difficult to beat. So I'm going to be bouncing the Trail of Crumbs with the Brazen Borrower and then Thought Erasuring them to be able to take it. It's kind of unfortunate to have to do it this way. Oh, come on. There's a second one. This is good against Paradise Druids and everything, but I kind of need to get rid of the Midnight Reaper first. Oh, I guess I have Legion Zen for the Paradise Druids, though. I should just put this in the graveyard. Well, that's, this is obviously going to outgrind us right now. We need to draw a card advantage engine. Second Trail of Crumbs. See, drawing extra cards is good. That's what Trail of Crumbs does. It draws the extra cards.
So let them draw some cards and then Thought Erasure. Obviously, Thought Erasuring away Cauldron Familiar isn't going to help us too much. We have three Cry of the Carnariums in the sideboard. This could be... Honestly, like, this could be a spot where we need to play more in the main deck. Like, we need to have, like, two in the main deck and two in the sideboard. Um, certainly possible. Uh, the, the next set, yeah, the next set is called Theros Beyond Death. It's coming out on Arena Janu mid-January, I think January 16th, they said is the, is the Arena release time. Yeah, <laughs> the dog's all happy about that counter spell. It wasn't Cryptic Command good. Might as well take another land out of the deck. I don't think we can really win from here. Yeah, we're not gonna be winning this from here. All right, let's move. Let's move on. Yeah, it's just a, it's a new pet that came out today. All right, so we need all these cry the carnariums. I uh, definitely need negates. Yeah, possible I just need more cries and maybe negates in the main deck. <sighs> okay. Narset's pretty decent against Midnight Rider. Is that the card? No, Midnight Reaper. There we go, that's the card. So is Obnexus's Cruelty. Yeah, let's get rid of Tyrant Scorn. Let's get rid of... It's a thing. I'm not sure exactly... I mean, Drown in the Lock? Drown in the Lock is decent, though. Could get rid of the Ritual of Soots. But I love Ritual of Soot against all the mana creatures. It's an easy way to get rid of mana creatures. Don't really see cards I want to take out. Maybe it's just Thought Erasures. I think Borrower is good at bouncing like those permanents like trailer crumbs that I can't deal with that we can then counter or discard. The thing is like, so basically I'm taking out Thought Erasure because the game's going to be a longer game and they may not have like the cards in hand to uh, to 
to discard. Like we don't we don't really want to be drawing Thought Erasure in the late game. I think it's still important to play Legion's End. And I do not think that it's overkill whatsoever. Play Legion's End plus Cry. But I think it is important to, to play both of them. I mean, it's just what, what their whole deck's built around. Are these one drops are Gilded Goose and... Um, the other one. The cat. Um, how does Devotion work? Basically, my opponent right now has one black Devotion and one green Devotion in play. You just count up on your side. You count up all of the... All of those pips. All those symbols. Alright, we got trailer crumbs out of there. That's good. Still get to draw two, of course, because of these witches' ovens. What? I guess they're only drawing one. And then they, they didn't even activate the goose, make another food. I was expecting them to activate Goose, then sacrifice Goose. Cauldron Familiar. We need more land. Yay, land. So I want to play Jace. Um, so I want to play Jace. Problems we're just going to be milling us. I mean, I don't know if that's really a problem. Yeah, how my opponent put the the Cauldron Familiar back into play, which which that's what they're supposed to do. Because if they would have just left the Cauldron Familiar in the graveyard and let the Cry of the Carnarium um, resolve, it would still exile. This is a problem. 
It still would have exiled the Cauldron Familiar. No. Jace is a whole lot worse when you have to mill yourself. But I don't think we're supposed to put Cauldron Familiars into their graveyard. Ugh, that really hurt. Why didn't I just cast the Gadwick first and draw on Murderous Rider and Liliana? Because obviously those were the t two top cards, and then it was three lands, obviously. Yep, should have just milled them, then they wouldn't have drawn the Wicked Wolf for the Garrick. Alright, so it's just, I guess just milling yourself is just always the bad idea. It's just always, even when they have the cats, we just gotta mill them. Yeah, that's twice we played against the food decks today, and we got just destroyed both times. We got destroyed the last deck, too, against the food deck. My opponents drew incredibly well both times with the Trailer Crumb decks. If we would have milled them, we would have hit two Cauldron Familiars. Probably. Just no winning. We'll go get another island here. I wouldn't make any just vast proclamations about the deck after just one match there. I mean, we did really well the last time we played this, but of course it was a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, we, we lost that one. That doesn't mean that our deck's not not playable or not strong enough or anything like that. Does mean that I probably need to change it, though. It looks like I wanted to give it one more chance, but it looks like we're going to go after this game and go go tune in and go put in Cry of the Canariums in the main deck. Because I guess there's just a whole, whole lot more Cauldron Familiar around. We're going to need... Need main deck cry the carnariums. I think we need four total. To really use a counter spell or a discard spell here. Zappa, the new PC is absolutely helping. Thank you so much for that resub. Um, Twitch is still being weird. They got rid of one of my emotes. I got to. All right, I have to refresh the stream real quick. Nope. There's my high boats are back.
All right, I think I'm a little bit behind with the subs. Was that number 12 or 13? I'll just go with 12. But whenever another person subs, we'll see what it says. <clears throat> All right, we're going to need to change this deck. I mean, I guess, you know, we'll continue to, to try here, but obviously my one Chemistry's Insight's not beating them, drawing millions of cards there. Okay, I do have a Blast Zone. That's good. Let's get this thing in here. Let's get these in here. I guess I'm going to try taking out Jace because I, I really don't want to mill my opponent. And obviously milling me is something I don't want to do whatsoever. And if I don't really want to mill them. Maybe this deck just needs to be completely changed. Uh, like I, I guess I didn't talk about this video. But like I talked about the, the Orzhov Troll Knights video. I've been real busy the last couple of days with with the computer and getting everything set up and everything. And I, I haven't really been able to take a look at... Um, too much magic magic stuff the last two days and i didn't have time to to update any decks for today um all right so it's out of here No, I, I did not get a new camera. It's the same camera. Did I sideboard some of these out? I don't like this hand. I don't know if I want six cards either. It's really telling me just to use a different deck, isn't it? I don't I don't think so, machine. Machine god, I think it's I think the deck's just fine. The, the Grix is a mass deck. Why do they just have to have Trail of Crumbs every game? <laughs> the one the one card that I really don't want to see whatsoever. If like I have to choose one card, just can you just please not have Trail of Crumbs? You can have everything else. You can have all the Cauldron Familiars, Witches Ovens. I don't care. Just don't have Trail of Crumbs. And they've had it just every single game. Meaty Ogre, thanks for the resub. That is number 14 on the day. All right, so I was a little bit behind. It's fine. Just get Trailer Crumbs out of here, please. And Magic Harry with the resub also. That gets us to number 15. That was still one off. There we go. So 
So I guess we're on the, the double Cryocarnarium plan for next turn. I think that's the plan. Why? Okay, uh, our deck looks pretty bad against this Jund Sacrifice, not gonna lie. What am I supposed to do against Trailer Crumbs? So obviously we need to put Cryocarnariums in the main deck. What is this deck supposed to do against Trailer Crumbs? How do we possibly beat... Trailer crumbs. We're gonna need more, more counter and discard spells, I guess. Does Ashiok gets trail. I don't think Ashiok doesn't do anything against trailer crumbs. Phoenix Survive with the new computer hype. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Alright, changed just a couple of cards there, added an extra negate and to cry to the main deck. And kept the two negate in the sideboard. And instead of having three cry in the sideboard, because we can only have two, put it have a, one of the ritual sets over there that we took out. Yeah, um yeah, Hawkeye's doing okay. Yeah, he's back there. But yeah, he's he's had a cold for a week or two. Um, and gave him, you know, he's he basically has like some some medicine that's going in with his canned food that is just going to be basically like some vitamin boosters to hopefully help boost his immune immune system and kind of see how that does. Yeah, Jace wasn't spectacular for me in the matchup, but that's not the only deck we're going to face, and I think that Jace is an important card to have access to in other matchups. 
My opponent's playing blue-black control. Oh, I feel feel sorry for them. You're welcome, Prophets. They are not playing blue-black control, so they're playing Arclight Phoenix. The Drowned Secrets deck. That when you don't have Drowned Secrets, it's not going to be nearly as good. And they do not have Drowned Secrets. Hopefully it's not just four Arc Lights. Ugh. Yeah, I guess we keep it. I want land, but I'd prefer a black land, but I guess we'd keep it. Because we need land. My opponent needs to chill. Yeah, you get a birdie back. Oh, Hawkeye's coffin. Dang. Really need to chill over here. I think they have four cards in their graveyard. Yep, 18. Okay, barely got there. Just enough. So these 04s don't do anything on the battlefield. I mean, I guess they could unsummon to pick one up, but they should probably save it in case they in case they draw Drown Secrets. I would think. New pet. I, I don't really like Spyglass. I think it's very easy for Jund sacrifice to kill a Spyglass. I don't I don't think that's a good option. Some of y'all are saying I should be playing Spyglass to stop oven. I don't think it does. I don't think it really does that stop oven, that is. New computer's working well, Dark Claw. Thanks for asking. Alright, we want Negates. We want Duress. We want to Cry the Carnariums. Cruelties. Narsets. Alright, lots of good stuff. We're going to take out Legion's End. Take out... Hase. I mean, no, we should, we should be playing Hase. Because they may go into the just mill us plan. Honestly. We'll just take out Riders. We're going to take out Liliana. Take out Serpent. Yeah, I don't need that thing. Hmm.
This is mostly like, you know, bounce Arc Light Phoenix, put it back in their hand. That's what that's what Tyrant Scorn does. I guess we have enough other removal. <laughs> I'll take out the blast zone too. Why not Amor Digo for trailer crumbs? Because they can already play it before I Amor Digo. Just cost two mana and. And they can kill me with other things. It's not like it's the only card that kills me. It's just the hardest card to deal with. But. I mean, it's. It's like the last resort is on more Ego for Trail of Crumbs. I want to try to not have to use that. But it is an option. It's not an option I want to use. Like whenever you do something, do something like you know counter or anything like that, the dog. Focus and discipline. Encounter no obstacles. Meditate and prepare. Cool. So I thought about not minusing because they can just play Arc Light Phoenix and attack Narset for three. But I don't. Okay, yeah, cause Narset really shuts them down. But I don't have. I don't have any removal for Arclight anyway, so it's not like so like the Arclight would just be able to attack again the next turn anyway. Uh, I haven't really looked at the deck sorting at all. I don't have any opinion of it. I've been too busy to really look at that. I know that there is a deck sorting now, but that's about all that I know. I don't really know anything else about it. Yeah, this could be a Karn deck. This could be a Karn deck. Could definitely change this into a Karn deck. I do like Karn right now. It is good. Yeah, it is good against Oven and food and, and everything. And it's it's harder for them to deal with Karn than deal with Spyglass. And Karn also just does more. You know, does stuff instead of just nothing. Like Spyglass. Just sitting there doing a bunch of nothing. No, we're not. No, no, no. Best of one for today. It's not trailer crumbs. What? Totally expecting trailer crumbs there. No, I. I... No, Jace is a lot better than Magic Mirror. Magic Mirror is too slow and too vulnerable with all the artifact and enchantment destruction currently in standard. I have practiced to get home your prowess. beast that's the beast
So if they if they spend the five mana to cast Bone Crusher Giant, which you know means they cast Stomp first, obviously then we get to negate it. That'd be really nice. I don't really want to Fable Passage Shuffle because we know the bottom uh, three cards are a couple of lands. Let's possibly draw another cry. But maybe I'm just waiting too long for this cry. Because, yeah, because basically, because of Narset, we know we have lands down at the bottom of the library. So we would, we would increase our chance of drawing lands if we Fable Passage, not decrease. Okay, so the addition of more negates, not as helpful against Gruul. And taking out Soot for Cry, not as helpful either. All right, let's give this a try. All right, look, good looking hand. A lot more black spells than blue spells. Last time we had all blue spells. Hey, Shumway. Yeah, sorry, still building the PC. Uh, no, the main plan of this deck is just attack, is attack opponents with creatures, not not mill. We have creatures that we'll attack with to win. But yeah, we got the new PC now, and it's looking good. Everything looks a okay. It's a good hand. Uh, we'll, get, we'll find more lands. So the Thought Erasure would check to like maybe we could set up, you know, a two for one with a Legion's End, but obviously we are not going to be able to do that. Uh, I don't I don't know how much these were. They were there was some amount of gold. I don't know, I just bought them right away. <laughs> I don't remember. There you go. Eight thousand gold. There you go, thank you. Hasty? Not hasty. Alright, my 
my we will draw more lands theory is not working out. Big Waller, because I don't know how much it was at his spot it right away. I mean, that's true, I did. That was hours ago. I don't I don't remember how much it was. Yeah, it felt like they had collision colossus that so they were kinda doing the math. Why? Give me one turn. And there's not Veil of Summer anymore. Jeez. You stop drawing haste creatures. I mean, this is just lethal. Yeah, those are two back-to-back -back awesome draws. Ugh. I mean, I, I don't have anything I can do. I can, I can counter it. This kills me. If I Murderous Rider this thing, this kills me. If I do nothing, they just attack and kill me. I thought we were going to be winning that game, or you know, I thought we had a pretty good chance. Those are that was really unfortunate that we couldn't, uh, you know, they, just like one more draw step of them, you know, before that stuff, like be able to untap and have the counter magic where we could really have sabotage available. Um, I could have just not legions ended. That would have been my best play against top deck against those draws against you know playing those back to back if I would not have cast legions end, but the. The problem with not casting Legion's End is that then if they Collision Colossus, I'm forced into using my Murderous Rider on a two-drop when I have Legion's End in hand. Anyway, um, yeah, our deck didn't perform perfectly, but I don't know, it looked a little bit better after we changed, um, changed some stuff. But uh, yeah, having a good plan for Jun to Sacrifice definitely is a... Um, necessity right now and I don't necessarily have the best plan against Jun Sacrifice right now um, so there we go uh, yeah I mean I would I'd have to just kind of you know, we, we changed a couple of things, but I have to play more. You know, we're, we're playing four matches with our decks today. I'd have to play more to, to say we need to change other stuff or, um, you know, anything like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't hate, I don't hate, I don't, like, I really don't dislike this deck list. I don't, I don't think this deck list is bad just because we went one and three in those games. Um, you know, after we changed stuff, we were one and one. I don't know, the Gruel one could have gone either way if my opponent doesn't doesn't draw the Questing Beast when they did. If they just give me one more, you know, just draw a land for that turn, we win that game, most likely. Uh, so, you know, that's that's magic. I, I don't like Kefnet. I've, I've just been really disappointed with Kefnet all the time playing it. Um, I could see playing, I could see playing like Karn and just kind of building the deck with, with Karn as like a card advantage engine instead of Jace, um, for, to help out against the, the Jun Sacrifice decks a lot. Obviously that changes your sideboard quite a bit though. 
I don't know. There's there's just so many different options to do with this kind of deck. I'd, I'd have to play it some more. The last time, again, the last time that we played this, uh, Demir Control, just like this, it was about two weeks ago. We we did really well with it. I, did, I don't remember our exact record. I think it, it was like, um, you know, five and one or four and two or something like that. Like we did we did really well and the deck felt good. Um, and so you know, like this was just a few quick matches where, uh, it didn't go so well. I'd I'd have to play it some more. Anyway, that's Demir Control. Those of y'all on YouTube, you know, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave some comments. Um, you know, if you're trying the deck out yourself, let me know what's working and what's not working for you over there so you get a little bit more information about it. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Demir Control, and I'll see you for the next video.